So you may all be wondering, and you may have all clicked on this video, what actually happened to what we considered the worst Astra VXR. Um, well, we're about to show you exactly what happened. Was it repairable? Was it salvageable? Um, did we come into any more problems? What exactly else did we find? And all that fun stuff. We're gonna jump straight into that in this quick video to let you guys know. So, as it stands, the car is not running. Um, Jack's tripping over everything in the car. But when I say the car is not running, doesn't mean that we haven't fixed it. Um, the engine has been all forged. It's had wasn't a piston, it's tech rods. It's had all the uprated gaskets and all that fun stuff. So, Jack's just putting everything back on the car now. The car is full with fluids. It's filled with the coolant, the oil. Um, it's had a new oil filter and all that fun stuff. The car itself, um, when, obviously the, when we found out the problem, uh, we obviously recommend to the customer that the injectors get flow tested. So what the customer did is he knew somebody, so he took them away, um, got them flow tested, and also it found, he found out that one of the injectors wasn't actually working properly. Now, um, with that being said, we um, had an inkling that it was to do with the map as well. So obviously with the injector not working properly, that would have obviously caused an issue at the same time, which, you know, the map and obviously the issue of the injector would have caused a lot of that damage. Would you not agree, Jack? Yes. So um, it's down to two things, the map and the injector's flow rate. So we can salvage the car. We can, we have rebuilt the car. We are also at the same time Vilside V3 350, uh, Fast and Furious replica. If you guys don't know, if you've not seen any of our videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come and check us out. However, people staring at me outside. Somebody just drove past in a BMW and just started staring at me. Jack's going to get this now to a state where it can be started uh, and we will come back to you when this happens. Now, we may actually speak to you about the process what happens after an engine is forged because not many people actually talk about that situation so stay tuned we'll see you in two seconds peace well we was going to jump straight forward to to jack starting the car but can you imagine going to the doctors and i'm pulling this thing out what's up gee no 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 you can keep that one jack you can, yeah. <laughs> you can keep well, that's got some suction on it it's got some serious suction on is it? Some serious suction. So we're going to bleed the clutch. These can be sometimes a pain to do, can't they? <laughs> what? What's going off here? <laughs> right, we'll cut to about 20 minutes till Jack figures out what he's doing. And then we're going to go concert look on his face. Whoa! Uh, yeah, that did. <laughs> That didn't work, did it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yep. Hello. So, yeah, we're going to feed this clutch. Um, and then we, we'll get back to you with, obviously, yeah, the... Using them. What? <laughs> oh. Because so, the fucking pipe's too small. You could probably poke me with that from here. Yeah, as I was saying, anyway, we're going to get this back to a state to actually be able to... <laughs> yeah, that moved. To be yeah, able to um, back down, run it, and then we'll get back to you in a second when Jack's fighting with his giant syringe. <laughs> you know. First start up. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> no, we're just priming the um, filters and making sure oil needs to go where it needs to go to. Uh, and then Jack is going to quickly. Why? Yeah, I know, I know. Jack is going to check the dipstick um, just to make sure the oil levels are appropriately where they need to be before we do start it. So this is. Wait. Moist. <laughs> Very moist. Um, so we're gonna 
Let Jack just check that. Was that acceptable? I haven't checked it yet. I'm putting the stick back in the Was hole. Well, well, stop putting things in holes. And... That's what happens when you've got a fat pipe. It's good for start up. Let's go. Hold on, we'll fight with this first. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> this is a ball egg. Why? What is the point? <laughs> oh, heard it flump. Right, so he's going to plug the coil pack back in now, so obviously it's going to actually fire up, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. obviously this is the point where you make sure you check everything, um, you turn it over, make sure you bleed it all up and all that good stuff. So the clutch was actually really quick to bleed as well, wasn't it? Which makes a yeah. change, 350Z. Um, so, go. this as well with the running inside of things I'm gonna go outside actually give me one second one second okay so obviously with the running in of side of things um, we <laughs> what it was so loud so yeah with the running inside of things we do recommend obviously that you don't hit boost you've got to drive it very 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 sensible um, so you can Go, go through boost. Yeah, you can not, go through boost, just not, not flat to the floor. Yeah, because then you're hitting boost. boost. Yeah. And you're very stupid. Um, so. Does it got a message to page? Who owns us? I don't know. Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. My Instagram is messaged. Um, so, yeah, with, with regards to the running in side of things, you want to make sure that you aren't doing um, excess load on the engine. So, for example, you don't want to be going um, to gear, say, five for doing 30 mile an hour because again that's putting strain on the engine it is a new engine everything is all brand new which you don't want to be putting it under any um stress or strenuous things once everything is all bedding itself in because what will happen is um <clears throat> during the oil changes you may find a few little metal debris and stuff in there nothing to worry about it's usually natural um this is where it bores itself out a little slightly bit and obviously the rings and everything all fit and it all fits perfectly good um this is why this stage is important during this stage we like to recommend that you do at least four or five oil changes obviously constantly checking your oil and all that good stuff as well at the same time fat man's gonna kill himself i'm not no me oh okay um <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is hey what are we gonna do now don't know um, I think I'm just going to let the camera float a little bit um, and I'm going to actually do a few little bits and bobs like with a little bit of magic so we're going to just test all the levels on that make sure chest. it's all running we're going chest. To test them. chest no we're going to make sure the levels are all, um, properly good and it's all bled up put the front bumper back on put his lights back in um, he's going to get a map tomorrow to limit his boost because he has got a KO3 hybrid core in which we want to limit him for KO4, yeah, I'm thinking about the Corsa. So KO4 hybrid core in there. Um, we do want to limit his boost because that will spool up a little bit quicker uh, for his bedding period. And then once obviously he's done that in, he gets his boost uh, put back to normal or increased, depending on what he wants. So. Increase. <laughs> um, with boost. Boost. Moost. Oh, yeah. Moost, okay. Um, <laughs> so with these as well, Good. With these cars, um, they are very temperamental, the Astros and the Corsas as well at the same time. So the moral of this is, did the worst ever Astro VXR that we've seen be saved? And the answer is no. No, it's yeah. No, it's yes. It is yes. Uh, it has been saved. Obviously, the customer will get a full care sheet. Uh, instructing him what oils to use, when to do his oil changes, things to look out for, and all that good stuff. 
you'll have his warranty with that as well so we are providing a great service for people uh, and you guys are smashing this service if you are new to this channel or you have never seen a video of us before we do forge the courses we do forge the astras we have our own personal projects going on as well jack's project will be starting soon which will be the high build courser Hey. Soon. 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 What? No. Oh, okay. No, but it'll be starting very soon. Um, obviously, we've got the 350Z Fast and Furious um, replica as well that we're building, which is right here. So, part wrapped, part bumper, part wrapped. Um, wide arches in here. It is going to be a full on replica. So, that is going to be really, really fun to build. So people, look out for that. If you haven't smashed that like button, or the, whoa, so zoomed in. So, so zoomed in. If you haven't smashed that like button, oh, that subscribe button, make sure you do down below just to keep up with what we're doing, where we are. Uh, if you do want to forge or you want any other work done by us, we don't just do forging, we work on any cars. We can forge the Focuses, the Fiestas. We can pretty much do anything. Um, make sure you're heading over to our Facebook page, which, on the screen now and also in the link uh, in the description Just drop us a message let us know what you want and we will try and do our best to look after you guys but on this note we have bought one of the worst astro vxr engines that we've seen back to life so thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe and you'll see this car at many many shows in the future so just look out for that forged by rusty auto sticker on that rocket cover if you do see this at any shows make sure you comment down below or come back to this video and let us know that you saw it do it <laughs> do it in huggies what what huggies yeah pampers pampers i don't know whichever's best whichever suit fits you better what size do you have i don't know it's been a while i have toddler yeah. Yeah. Is it number four? No, it's number three. Three. No, it's number 90. I'm a fat boy. <laughs> <laughs>